hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is abby and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe like and share and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back so today i have a very different video and i'm so excited to share with you because <clears throat> i have finally found matumbo yes real matumbo um my friend was the one who was suggesting that I should order Matumbo for the Christmas because um, she will be coming here to visit me. But here in Italy, there is no, there is Matumbo, but not like ours, you know, they're in Kenya. So they have washed it, it has become very white. So I cannot feel the sweetness of it because we always eat it when it's a little bit dark, you know. Yeah, I don't know with what they wash it until it become white, but one day when I buy it, I will show you. So I went to the butchery uh, on Friday because I was going like to order meat, meat for the, um, for the Christmas, yeah. And so I, my friend suggested that we should cook goat. And so I went to ask goat because it's hard to find goat meat, mostly if I think it's not uh, Pasqua, yeah, I mean Pasaka. When it's not that so it's hard but here where i live i don't live in the in town so i live in a small like you can see in a village and where there is a butcher you can just go and order your meat and they will slaughter it for you so that's when i ended up asking if i can find some in intestines and stomach for me when when they slaughter that goat or sheep. I don't remember what I order because those two name, Italian name, those for sheep and goat, they do confuse me. Until now, I'm keep on asking myself, and what did I order? Did I order goat or did I ask sheep? So I don't remember. I will have to go to confirm. When I was ordering the meat, I asked for the matumbo, and the 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 owner of the butchery told me that. Um, Okay, you come on Monday, we'll be slaughtering something, or maybe, I didn't know which animal, maybe it will be cow or goat, or, no, goat is not too much because we don't, or maybe, so we'll be slaughtering on Monday, you just come and I will give you my tumbo. Yeah, and he told me at uh, at 11 I should go, you know, here, here in abroad, people they live with appointment and you have to arrive on time. So he told me you should come at 11 so that you'll get your matumbo ready. And I said, okay. So at 11, I sent my husband because I knew it would be heavy. Maybe they will give me too much. And in fact, he told me I will give you for free. And I was like, wow, Ooh, thank you. So I told him, you don't have to wash it. I will do it by myself because I don't want it to be washed until it's, it looks white. So he told me, yeah, okay, okay. He was happy and he told me, no, I will give it to you for free. Just come and pick it. So I sent my husband to go and pick it at 11. It was not ready. They told him, come back after 20 minutes. And he went back after 20 minutes and everything was ready. So let me show you. So this is it. Oh, wait, let me put it here. Haha, <laughs> so it's full here. This is it. Oh my god, look! So today I'll be washing it very good with hot water. I've organized the sink, it's clean. Everything I'll just have to put on my gloves and I'm good to go. So I think even today I will have to cook a little bit of it and taste it. Then I will put the other one for the December in the freezer anyway for us. And ta -da! Ooh, that's nice. So let's get started. Okay. Mm -hmm. like this. I should put it because it's already clean this place. Look at it. Oh my god. So big. I will have it. The only one which is remaining there are the intestines. There is no intestine, it's just this stomach. This one is what they give it to me. So I'll have to go to look for intestine. But also, this one is so sweet. Just look at it. Look at how big it is. Oh my god, 
Look at Garango. Here is Garango. Ah, my goodness. Now let's clean this with, with hot water. Slowly, slowly. Oh, smelling the sweetness. Wait, let me sharpen my knife first. So when my husband came back, <laughs> he came back with a lot of story like, oh my God, hey, let me tell you, I've seen a very big, big cow. They have cut it without head. It was without head. And this stomach, it was so big. I ended up asking them, is it too all of it for me? And they were like, yes, it's all for you. He came back with a story like, um, like how when we were small, when we used to go to the neighbor when they slaughter things and then we come back with story like, oh my God, we that goat was big, that sheep was big, they were slaughtering cow, it was big stomach all outside. Wow. That's how he came back safe. So let's wash this. a lot of fat but you be careful when you eat it because you can if you eat too much you have diarrhea now for here it's always white like this ah maybe they do remove this part see it can come out ah they did remove it because it's all for them it's always white like this without this part. sand so now I have to wash the second time good and then I'm done just to rinse it and I'm done so let me show you something it this is the um, I still have to wash it again this is the fat I get it from the that stomach and I'm going to make I'm going to cook it to make a fat and now this is the all clean and this is the dirt this is the uh, this is rubbish so i'm going to put it here then clean here because it's full of sand
I can touch again without anything. And I wanna make now, I wanna cook a piece, a piece of it and taste it and see if it's yummy. The reason I'm leaving here, at least it will dry and I'll be able to pack them and put in the freezer. So because I don't have a place to hang them. So let's see. Thank you. 